Hello, hello everyone. Hello guys, how are you guys on today? I hope you're having an awesome, awesome day. Guess what time it is? It is story time with Miss Doris. I'm so excited to be reading you a life story on today. I'm going to go ahead on and get started. I would like to greet everyone all over the world. I would like to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some good night. Someone is going to bed somewhere in the world, but guess what? You are just in time for story time with Miss Doris. Hello, Shakana. Hello, Shaquavia. How are you on today? Hello, Minerva. I hope you guys are having an awesome awesome blessed day on today well guess what it is story time with miss doris good afternoon to you and to those of you that's going to be catching this story time on a replay hello to you and welcome to story time with miss doris today is wednesday and on wednesday we read a christian story today's story is going to be coming out of our children's book out of our children's bible and this is a hardbound book it's coming out of children's bible and today's story we're going to be reading is coming out of exodus 16 and 17 food in the desert food in the desert is the story we're going to be reading on today and before we get to that remember we're working on numbers so today's number is going to be the number three today's number is the number three this is the number three and we have three little radio mickey heads so we're going to count them one two and three so let's count it together i can't hear you say it really loud what number is this one one two and three good job now let's count by yourselves wow i know you did an awesome job one two and three and this is the number three welcome to all of you guys out there in story time let's get ready to do that story time song remember when we're doing a story time song make sure you guys are practicing safety safety first at all all times there it goes. I love that story time song. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's story time. It's story time, guys. And I'm so excited to be reading you. I love that song. Make sure you're practicing safety first. I don't want you guys hurting yourself. Story time. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's story time. Story time with Miss. It's story time. She'll read to you, sing to you, tell you all just what to do wow you guys were awesome i heard you singing so 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 loud well guys go ahead on and have a seat moms dad nanas and papas while miss doris read you and the children a live story on today food in the desert exodus 16 and 17 the Israelites set up camp in the desert. As the days went by, the food they had brought with them ran out. Where would they find more food? The people were hungry. They began to complain to Moses and Aaron, their leader, their leaders. Moses asked God for help. The night the flocks of quail appeared all over the camp. The people caught the small birds and roasted them for dinner. Quail means quails are smallest birds in the in the bird game family. Many quails only fly short distances, but they are some breeds to migrate twice a year. Quail migrates across the region through which the Israelites journeyed at the time of Exodus, 
the quail fly low at night. There's the quail. They were complaining that they had ran out of food. So they started complaining to Moses and Aaron. The next morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. It was gone. When it was gone, then flakes like frost were left behind on the sand. Moses told the people, Moses told the people, this is bread that God has given us to eat. They called the bread manna. Manna was white and tasted like waffles made with honey. Early morning manna rained down from the sky, so the people always had enough to eat manna. The meaning of manna was a flaky food that appeared with the dew every morning, six days every week for 40 years. It had a sweet taste and could be used to make other foods. After a while, the Israelites moved on to another place. Manna still rained from the sky, but there was no water. The people were thirsty. Again, they complained to Moses and Aaron. Moses cried out to God, what am I to do with these people? Oh God, oh God. So when you cry out to God, what happens? What do you think happens when you cry out to God? God told Moses to go to a big rock at a place called Harab. Moses took with him the staff he had used to divide the waters from the Red Sea. He touched the rock and a stream of water came out. The Israelites still had a long, long journey ahead of them with manna, quail, and water. God showed that he was with them. There goes Moses and there's the people, there's the staff, and there is the water. The end. That was an awesome, awesome short story on today. So the essence of our story food in the desert so once God sent them on a mission once they were on their journey what they ran they taken everything that they possibly could all of their food but their food didn't last long because when you're on a journey your food doesn't last long you have to have a more of a supply or some way to somewhere to get that food from so the Israelites as they were going through the desert they ran out of food but they were with Moses and Aaron. So once they ran out of food, which Moses and Aaron was their leaders, guess what? They had to rely and depend on God to supply them with more food. So as Moses asked God for help, so God wants you to know and today when you ask for help or whatever you in need of, just ask God and God will supply our every need. In his word, it says he would never leave us nor forsake us. But even though the Israelites were on this journey with Moses and Aaron, their leader, they ran out of food. So Moses had to go and ask God for more food. But as they were going on through their journey, <clears throat> They went, they, it rained, and then the rain turned in, guess what, when it rains sometimes, like in California, they have lots and lots of fog and mods, but here, when it rained, it turned into dew, the next morning was a layer of dew around their camp, and guess what, God turned that dew into manna, which was bread, so, and it had a sweet, sweet taste, as if it was a waffle wow god it's so amazing so as they were going on so guess what so god gave them that and then he gave them once he gave them the quail quail which is the bird once they ran out of food god gave them the quail first which moses asked god for help so god blessed them with that then down through their journey 
the dew came and God blessed them with manna, which they call manna bread, and that had a sweet honey taste. But guess what? Along through their journey, they still, the people, they really got, I think I would say they got discouraged and they were really mad because now they didn't have any water. So they ran out of water. So Moses had to go to God and cry out to God. So that's what God wants us to do on today. God wants us to cry out to him. And whatever problems and issues we may be having or whatever you may be going through in this day, God wants us to cry out to him from the bottom of our hearts. And once we cry out to God and crying out to God, is all it is is just praying, telling God about your needs or what you if you're in trouble or you need a blessing from God. So in order for you to get that blessing, God wants us to pray to him. And in his word, it says, cast all your cares on me for I care for you. And guess what, guys? God cares for you on today. And so does Miss Doris. I love all of you. So remember on today, be encouraged. Don't forget to pray. If you don't know how to pray, all praying is for you guys, for our children, all praying is, is talking to God. Just like you talk to your mom, your siblings, your sister, or your brother. All it is, you're just talking to God. Dear God, I need your help. Or dear God, bless mom and bless dad and bless Nana and bless Papa. It's just talking to God. And God in his word, he says, suffer little children, come unto me. So guess what? Even though you are children, God hears your prayers. God hears your prayers. And God works mysteriously through children as well. I enjoyed reading you guys an awesome, awesome story on today. Food in the desert, Exodus 16 through 17. Remember, guys, if you're not feeling well, always, always let someone know that you're not feeling well. And guess what? They would take really, really, really good care of you. And when you're out and about or playing with your favorite, favorite toy or even having a snack, make sure... You are washing and sanitizing your hands at all, all times. We don't want you guys getting sick. We know the holidays coming up. So I want you well at all, all times. And if you're out in public, remember, some places you go to, they are still practicing safety, safety first. So if you see the door mask, the sign on the door says, wear your mask. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Don't take your mask off unless someone tells you to. Because some places it's still mandated that you wear your mask. I enjoyed reading to you on today. Remember, today's number was the number three. Today's number was the number three. You guys were awesome. Well, remember, as we always say at the end of our story time, if you're not smiling on today, I hope once she sees Miss Doris's smile at story time that you are smiling on today. Take care, guys. See you on tomorrow. Remember, don't forget to share the story time videos with your family and friends. And what we are trying to do now, we're trying to boost our views or our followers on our YouTube channel. Our followers on our YouTube channel. So make sure you share, share the link for our YouTube channel. So, And on our YouTube channel, we have over 600 videos that are housed on our story time with miss doris youtube channel thank you so much miss share henry god bless you guys don't forget to smile have an awesome awesome blessed day love you all with the love of god take care and see you soon god bless you all